We're building the best map to help you navigate and explore the world. We've launched our redesign map in 10 countries and regions, and we're excited to announce that later this year, we'll bring the new map to 11 more, including France, Switzerland, and New Zealand. Our new map includes great features like cycling, look around, and so many more. And with the new city experience, we pushed it even further with unprecedented detail for land cover, roads, and elevation, as well as improved driving and transit navigation. And we're adding Las Vegas, which looks stunning. And before the end of the year, we'll add six more cities, including Miami, Chicago, and Sydney. For more than 15 years, Google Maps has worked to create rich and useful representations of this information to help us navigate. Advances in AI are taking this work to the next level, whether it's expanding our coverage to remote areas, reimagining how to explore the world in more intuitive ways. Around the world, we have mapped around 1.6 billion buildings and over 60 million kilometers of roads to date. Some remote and rural areas have previously been difficult to map due to scarcity of high quality imagery and distinct building types and terrain. To address this, we are using computer vision to detect buildings at scale from satellite images. As a result, we have increased the number of buildings on Google Maps in Africa by five times since July 2020, from 60 million to nearly 300 million. We have also doubled the number of buildings mapped in India and Indonesia this year. And globally, over 20% of buildings on Google Maps have been detected using these new techniques. We've gone a step further and made the data set of buildings in Africa publicly available. International organizations like the United Nations and the World Bank are already using it to better understand population density and to provide support and emergency assistance. With iOS 16, we're introducing great updates for Maps users and developers. Let's start with one of our most requested features, multi-stop routing. You can now plan up to 15 stops in advance. Maps will now store previous routes in recents, so they're easy to get back to. And you can plan multi-stop routes on the Mac and send them to iPhone when you're ready to go. And of course, when you're driving, you can ask Siri to add additional stops to your route while safely keeping your eyes on the road. Next, let's talk about getting around with transit. We're making it easy for riders to see fares for how much their journey will cost, along with the ability to add transit cards to wallet. And if a transit card balance is running low, you'll receive an alert so you can reload it without having to leave maps. And for developers, we're making big improvements to MapKit, starting with our revolutionary new city experience, which includes rich details for land cover, roads, landmarks, and more. Developers like Bird can now integrate this detailed map so users can more easily locate bikes and scooters to get around town. And it looks stunning in both light and dark mode. And there's more. We're also bringing look around to MapKit, making it easy to integrate high resolution imagery from maps into apps like Zillow, helping users get an immersive ground level view while browsing homes. And finally, we're excited to announce that later this year, developers will have faster and more flexible ways to build incredible maps experiences with brand new server side APIs. And that's a quick look at maps. We're also bringing new capabilities into maps. Using advances in 3D mapping and machine learning, we are fusing billions of aerial and street level images to create a new high fidelity representation of a place. These breakthrough technologies are coming together to power a new experience in maps called immersive view. It allows you to explore a place like never before. Let's go to, take, let's go to London and take a look. What a beautiful city. Say you're planning to visit Westminster with your family you can get into this immersive view straight from maps on your phone. And you can pan around the sides. Here's Westminster Abbey. And if you're thinking of heading to see Big Ben, you can check if there's traffic, how busy it is, and even see the weather forecast. It's London, so I'm guessing it's rain.
Now, if you're looking to grab a bite during your visit, you can check out restaurants nearby and get a glimpse inside. What's amazing is that this isn't a drone flying in the restaurant. We use neural rendering to create the experience from images alone. And Google Cloud Immersive Stream allows this experience to run on any smartphone. This feature will start rolling out in Google Maps for select cities globally this year. Another big improvement to Maps is eco-friendly routing. Launched last year, it shows you the most fuel-efficient route, giving you the choice to save money on gas and reduce carbon emissions. Eco-friendly routes have already rolled out in US and Canada, and people have used them to travel 86 billion miles, helping save an estimated half million metric tons of carbon emissions, the equivalent of taking 100,000 cars off the road. I'm happy to share that we are expanding this feature to more places, including Europe later this year. In this Berlin example, you could reduce your fuel consumption by 18% taking a route that is just three minutes slower. These small decisions have a big impact at scale. With the expansion into Europe and beyond, we estimate carbon emission savings will double by the end of the year. And we've added a similar feature to Google Flights. When you search for flights between two cities, we also show you carbon emission estimates along alongside other information like price and schedule, making it easy to choose a greener option. These eco-friendly features in maps and flights are part of our goal to empower one billion people to make more sustainable choices through our products, and we are excited about the progress here. 